it demonstrates the impact that engineering has on an ever-changing world. This is really impacting the minds of, of young potential engineers. It's a showcase of what Illinois has to offer. And this one year blip is not going to end it. It's not going to change it. This is what they're dedicating their lives to, to inspire people from the community that maybe don't feel like they can do it too. So I have a really long history at the OH. I, I've been going since I was like five years old. So in general, there was just this little like, the, the, the child in me was just like kind of heartbroken. I guess for me, um, uh, it's kind of like, it's just heartbreaking. It's something that the entire committee has been putting in months of work towards. My initial reaction was kind of, how could this possibly be happening? Most of everything had already been um, set up, actually. Um, all the reservations were done and all the exhibit placements were done. We were about two weeks ahead of schedule and everything had been essentially set up. We didn't really have much to do. <laughs> so I guess it's, we had to like watch the situation unfolding, seeing the way that the disease spread and how it impacted every single other campus, all the other events, sporting events. The EOH being such a large gathering, we just knew that it was like eventually going to happen. Everybody let go of the balloon. You know, first we were talking about, you know, okay, let's let's bring in these safety measures. So we were gonna, you know, restrict how many kids were gonna be touching certain things. We were gonna have a lot of hand sanitizer present. We were trying to kind of evolve it, but still maintain that kind of spirit of EOH. From there, we decided that as a committee, that whether we wanted to do a video series of EOH or we just wanted to cancel EOH in general. We just had continual meetings with the university and it became really clear on both sides that this was just something that couldn't happen. We started putting in motion all of the cancellation plans and talking more seriously about virtual EOH. Almost at a million and a half pounds. One of the great things about entering Open House is that it brings people from all over the state and brings them to campus. And just the, the, the scenario of bringing everyone to campus, interacting and then having them go back home. We care too much about the students that are coming in and the students that are presenting. And honestly, it would be disrespectful for us to expect anyone to come yet alone the students that are having to exhibit there. It's just, it's not, it's putting them in a place of danger that's just disrespectful in our mind. It shows that the students' hearts are all in the right place. Of course they want to show off everything that they've done, but they don't want to do something that is going to have a detrimental effect to the community. And that's one of the things that we, we cherish about our students is that they are really smart, really driven, but also really care about the world around them. I'm glad we made the decision when we did, um, and I don't regret working as hard as I did become, leading up to it being canceled. And that's the thing, is that my, my work, even though the, the result is different, my work doesn't have any less strength. What has been so inspiring and what keeps me going is the fact of how amazingly everyone has come forward, come together, and we are doing the best we can uh, as a community, as a campus, as a city, as a college, um, and, and as a world to really address this issue. So right now my committee is actually working on um, creating a science at home tutorial to hopefully provide for elementary and middle school age students up to high schoolers to be able to do some science or engineering experiments at home with supplies that they already have in their house to keep the STEM education and the spirit of EOH alive um, just without our traditional exhibits.
And we will celebrate the 100th year uh, perhaps a little bit later than this year, but we will definitely celebrate that in the near future. For the, for the students that have put a lot of time and effort into entering an open house, it's unfortunate that we're where we are, but this will be remembered as being a singular event and we will continue with Engineering Open House. It will continue to be the student-led event on campus and this will just be part of history. It will be something that you were part of and even though it didn't turn out the way you had hoped it would be, it's still gonna be part of your story. I think that my biggest hope for EOH in the future is for it to become even more cross-functional. To bring in the art and design college, to bring in architecture, to bring in chemistry, all of the liberal arts and sciences. I hope it uh, expands beyond just North Quad. I would love to be able to do fundraising to bring in schools that normally couldn't afford to come. We have a team that wants to come from Egypt, so that'd be our, our first international team. We'd like to grow that a little bit more and expand the range. Well, for sure, the technology is going to change. We're going to see new things uh, year after year. I hope the university continues to let us do what we have done the last hundred years to continue to be a student run event. I hope that the, the future of EOH has as much pride and joy as it does now and has in the past. There are design problems that are present in all spectrums of work across the university. I hope that there's more world-changing research that, that can be displayed. What's the next step? What are we working on today that's going to be here 20 years from now in mainstream? I know that EOH is going to continue to be an amazing event. It is just a, all of the excitement around uh, engineering and what engineering can do for the world. I know that it's going to be something that will continue to attract students, high school students, community members from around the state and around the nation to come to Urbana-Champaign and see what it means to be a Granger engineer. I am just super excited to showcase how far we've come, but also how far we're gonna go in the future.